Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In the previous video, we have seen how we can install and add font or some icons into our project. And here you also observe that the icon which we have added into our project is bit smaller size. There will be different requirements. Sometimes we need to have smaller size icons, sometimes we need to have bigger, and sometimes even we need to have a bigger icon so based on the sections where we are going to use these icons in our project. So let's see in this video how we are going to increase the font size of this icon. To increase the font size of the icon, the simplest way to increase the font size of the font icon, you can use the CSS style and give the font size for that particular icon. As in this example, I'm going to give font size as 30 pixel. Just give the font size and refresh the page. You can observe the icon is a bit bigger compared to earlier. If you give 100 pixels, you can see the icon is even bigger compared to the earlier one. That is the one way to increase the font size of font or awesome icons. There are also predefined set of classes defined by font awesome. You can use all those as well. Let me remove the CSS style which we have applied here. So the default icon size is smaller one. And copy this one into three times. As I said, there are predefined classes for sizes as well. Add FA hyphen XS, which will be for the extra smaller icons. And if you want to have a little bit bigger one compared to the extra small, you can have FA hyphen SM. And similarly, if you want to have larger icon, you can have FA hyphen LG. Save this one and go back to browser. You can observe the difference between these three icons. Apart from these, you can also use the multipliers just like here. Multipliers, as I mentioned here, you can use 2x to multiply the icon two times and 3x into three times like that. Save this one and you can see the difference how the icons look different compared to the default one. Apart from this one, you can add relative icon size as well in this font or sum. For example, if you have a division or paragraph where the default font size of that particular paragraph is 10 pixel. For in this example, I'm going to take one division. The content of that division size is considered as 10 pixel. So and within this one, if you add any icons, these icons will get sized relatively based on the font size which you have defined here. So let me take two divisions so that you can compare the icons with relative size and without relative size. The first one, we have not defined any relative size here. I will name this one as normal size. And I will have another title for the second paragraph. And I will name that one as relative sizes. So let's save this one and go back to browser. And here you can see which will have font or some normal size and based on the size what we have given here like extra small small lg that will be applied to these icons if you have defined any relative size for any particular division and the sizes which you are going to define within this paragraph or division that will be relatively sized based on the parent size which is defined here if i define 30 pixels here based on this parents font size the child elements the sizes which we have defined for these child elements will be relatively precise as we can see in the web page here this is how we can resize font or some icons in our angular project that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click on like button and share it to others